treatment of stones depends on where they are, depends on the size, depends on the, on the number. Stones less than five millimeters have got a very good chance of coming out spontaneously. Stones between five millimeters and nine millimeters, those ones, the chances of coming out are a little bit less. So those ones, usually we wait for them to come from the kidney and lodge in the ureter. Stones between six millimeters and nine millimeters, if they have not yet lodged either in the kidney or in the ureter, we we'll give them time to lodge because it will appear and disappear, appear and disappear. And then we can approach them either using the ureterinoscope, uh, URSL, which now is available in the country. We go through the urethra, we go into the bladder, we go into the ureter. And after we've localized the stone, we blast it into smaller pieces and we pick the pieces one by one. Stones which are more than a centimeter, centimeter and above, those ones must be removed because those ones are likely to lodge right away. But in, in theatre, we must have a C-arm. And uh, we've got a C-arm right here with us so that we're able to see that the stone is in this place and our instrument is going for it, either a nephroscope or a uterinoscope, whether flexible or rigid, has reached where the stone is and we are hammering it and then we pick out the pieces and leave uh, drains. Stones in the kidney uh, can also be removed endoscopically. We call it a, a systolithopaxy. So without cutting, you can go into the bladder and you crush the stone into small pieces or you blast it with a, with a little tripter and then you pick out the pieces piecemeal. So stones which are two centimeters and above, most of the time we need to actually open and remove them. But those are a little bit uh, less than the ones which are smaller. Stones in the prostate are a little bit of a hard nut to crack. It really depends on the age of the patient. Uh, because it includes uh, doing surgery on the prostate. And because the prostate is a reproductive organ, if the patient is young and he doesn't have a complete family, uh, this might disrupt his ability to have children. It may not take it away completely, but might minimize the chances. So if the patient is still young, we, 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 we buy time. We manage the infection and the inflammation, manage the pain as he ramps up his family. But if it's an old man who has finished his family, then we resect the prostate and we bring out uh, the stone. Stones in the seminal vesicles, usually we, op we do them by open surgery because those ones are really tucked away from uh, endoscopic access.